and uh, K1 Max rules because in modified tie you can hang on, you can keep kneeing and keep striking. And in K1 rules you can't catch the kicking leg at all. So it's a bit of a cross between uh, K1 Max and modified tie. Well there's the uppercut from Parr trying to put the chin through the top of the head. Parr on the front foot goes to the body, then upstairs, body nice combination work from Parr and a high knee! Wayne Parr, more combinations than a bank safe here in the second round. Foley edges forward. Takes a shot to the lower rib cage. Overhand left from Parr. Negating knee across the waistline. Good work there from JW. The confidence is starting to build in the Wiley veteran. Well, Parr is working that body shot at treat. The hand skills are superior. And uh, he's really working that. The only fighter I've seen work the body shot better is uh, Johnny Halford. Uh, and he's one of the judges for this one. So he's going to have a fine appreciation for those uh, body shots that Parr's banging in on the body of, uh, of Foley spinning back fist Foley spinning back fist nicely done from Foley first one of the fight but have a look at Wayne Parr he wants to juke it out against the ropes Foley forced to cover up and Charlie Lufay breaks up both men this is turning into an absolute blockbuster Far, Parr oh. goes to the body again got more body shots than El McPherson here Hammer ripping away to those rib games oh, that's for you John Cox <laughs> Snappy oh, jam nice from JW. Done. Good sticky left hand. Right hand from Foley. Couldn't get through. He checks the low kick well. Drifts off to his right. Car shuts down the ring. And Paul Briggs hops into the blue corner for the instructions for JW. Red Junker into the red corner for the ice down of Greg Foley. He's doing that home. He's doing that home. Yeah, you worked on that. Well, he's going to be fairly pleased with uh, Foley's efforts so far. Foley going with Parr on the inside and giving it a real shake-up. But Parr in the grapple, and look at those body shots. They're just beautifully worked from Parr. Just a real uh, a real technician at work, a real tradesman he is, Parr. And uh, he's the master of his trade in centering at the moment. But I'll tell you what, Foley, Michael, he's going to get more and more confident as this one goes along. Just to know that he can be in centering with a world-class fighter, hold his own. And, you know, he's maybe even going to pull out a couple of surprise shots out. So uh, Foley's certainly going to grow with confidence as he realises he's in there and he's holding his own. Here we go, third round. The tune between rounds has run DMC walk this way. And the second round has to have gone the way of Wayne Park. So maybe one round apiece if you give the first to Foley, the second to JW. Here we go on the third of five of our main event. A capacity crowd at the Penrith Panthers. Spinning back this from Foley. Fires out the front kick of the overhand left from JW. They're going out and hammer and tell. It's a good old-fashioned Donnie Brook in centering. Another tongue-thumping right hand from JW. I'll tell you what, Michael, the way uh, pass firing out shots here. Soren Monconton's going to have his work cut out for him on the 16th of September on Evolution 8 because uh, Parr is certainly starting to find his game, especially with, uh, with the hand skills. Have a look at that, wrapping the hook right around the gloves of Foley and just picking the shots with that absolute precision is Parr. Ah, just sizing up the right hand, goes to the outside lead by of Foley. It looks to be Wayne Parr in control again here in the third round, forcing Foley the perimeters of the ring. Sticky left hand from Park, the cerebral fighter that he is, throws the right hand up the tube, smack me on the sternum, digs down to the body, cracks the round kick, and he is pulling out all six weapons allowed here, is Wayne Park. I'll tell you what, Foley is uh, showing good preparation. Rick, Rick Junk has done a great job with uh, Greg Foley because he's had those body shots absolutely slammed into his rib cage, and uh, you know, his midsection's well uh, armoured and well prepared. And uh, he's riding those shots well as Foley. Leads off with the right hand there, JW. Rear lead round kick. You'll see JW just shut off the ring and try and minimise the movement of Foley. Have a look at it now. JW edges forward. There's the uppercut. Rattles in the right hand. Greg Foley goes turtle shot. Here he comes.
reckon I reckon 50 50 percent of the people uh, in the uh, Penrith Panthers are all here in support of Foley. It's certainly not uh, not a one way affair when it comes to the uh, the supporter base. Oh, beautiful body shot dipping down off the left hand from JW. Oh. Foley finds the mark with an inside fire kick, and here comes JW again. Goes to the body, then to the head of Foley. He's got more punch than a high school prom. Has John Wayne Parr. High knee from JW. Charlie Lufay. Telling both men to keep the action flowing. Oh, oh the hammer. There's only one word for it. Champagne. Champagne in fight game at the Penrith Panthers. And I tell you what, uh, John Wayne Parr, just have a look at the, at the, the accuracy. There's uh, Richard from uh, Bunchu Restaurant in uh, Broadbeach. I've been with uh, John Wayne Parr since the start. And Richard, uh, a very emotional man. He wants to see JW be uh, triumphant here. Again, Wayne Parr, have a look. You can just see the look in his face. He just assesses the situation so well and works all all range of attacks, and that is a mark of an experienced fighter and a true, a true champion. John Wayne Parr just uh, really showing his experience. But I tell you what, Greg Foley covering and then launching his attacks, shooting the inside thigh kick, shooting the uh, the odd hooking punch out from behind those covering uh, guards of his. So Foley is uh, is yeah, he can hold his head high, Michael. He's doing well. Here we go, round number oh. four of five, and Greg Foley opens up hard and strong yet again. Walking forward with the knee, the overhand right from JW. Those heavy salvos off both hands from the S1 and the ISKA world champion. Foley comes forward. Will Parr go for the big bok choy off the right hand in this round? He slings it out. Sweat flies off the jaw of Foley, who's forced to cover up again. Leg check there from Parr. High check from Parr. Can't he right hand from Foley. Tell you what, Foley's going to be charged after uh, almost stunning JW there. He comes straight back, Foley now. Good hand combinations. Could it be a changing of the guard as uh, Foley's given it uh, right up in the fourth round here? Greg Foley showing no respect in the penultimate round in action. Power edges forward, goes to the body of the high knee. Greg Foley forced to cover up. Can Power find a chink in the armor? Well, he's shaking it off while he's out of the fog again, Parr, after being stunned. And he's back. And he's back on the job. With uh, all weapons ablazing again, Parr. Or all weapons allowed, that is. Snappy jam Beautiful from job. JW. The chance go up for Foley. in this capacity crowd rallying behind the local boy, the pretty boy. Outside fly kick from Foley. Big right hand from Parr and a gut-munching knee. The uppercut. And Charlie Lufay breaks up both men, doing a fine job to Lufus, third man in centering. Well, Foley now looking to be a little spent. He certainly uh, showed flashes of brilliance, but 